Friday. Woo! Hey, a quick note real quick. Something happened to me today I thought I would share with you guys. I was picking up some 55-gallon drums that a customer finally gave me, and I was taking them to a site to just to store them, and one of the forklift drivers said, hey, I used to work for a, a place that would buy them. So I perked up. And I went over to that place and eventually started talking to the owner. And come to find out, uh, that company was supposed to be picking up the 55 gallon drums, but uh, they had not picked up in a long while because it was a really small account for them. And uh, it was just kind of a will call. And so after talking a little while, uh, the owner says, well, I'll pay you for what you have, but I'd prefer not to pay for an account that we already have. And I said, that's fair. That's fine. He said, but I do have something you might be interested in. I have 10,000 pallets in my yard. Now, when I went to look at it, it wasn't 10,000. It was more like 1,000. But it was a thousand that he had accumulated probably over a couple of months. So he probably has 500 pallets a month that he wants somebody to take off for him. So here's my point, guys. I'm doing one job expecting to get paid for one thing. I end up at a company talking to the owner and he shows me another opportunity because he needs to get rid of these pallets. We'll take from me almost as many pallets as I can possibly bring them. They like standard size, but they're not super picky. They, they don't want it to be exactly standard size. It's okay, it's a little bit wider, a little bit longer. They just trying to go for a general surface area. Do. This is how we do it. Peace family. Just got the word last week from a few of my suppliers. We got a total of 10,000 plus pallets to move per week. So any of you pallet brokers out there, give me a call. Let's put some deals together.